I wrote the story about Night Knit and Prince Pearl because when my second graders were learning stockinette stitch, I would so often hear them say, Miss Smith, is it time to knit or is it time to pearl? So the story helps us remember that Night Knit and Prince Pearl work together. And when the flag of Night Knit is flying, Night Knit rules the day. And when the flag of Prince Pearl is flying, Prince Pearl rules the day. And this helps us remember when it's time to knit or time to pearl. So let's take a closer look and see. By now we know that when we're ready to begin a new row, our work goes in our left hand and the empty needle goes in the right hand. And your working yarn should be coming off the tip of your left hand needle. Now we are in position to start a new row. But is it time to knit or is it time to purl? If I'm in position to do my first stitch, I can pause and take a look to see whose flag is flying. Now the smooth side of the flag, the side with all the little hearts and arrows, this is the flag of Night Knit. So when I see the smooth flag with hearts and arrows flying, I know it is time for me to knit. If, however, I am in position, ready to do my first stitch, I pause and I see this flag flying. This is the flag with all the little bumps. This is the flag of Prince Pearl. And I like to tell the children that all these little bumps, they're just like pearls. Sometimes I'll even bring in a strand of beads or a strand of pearls so that we have that image of the little bumps. Those are the pearls. Now, this is the flag of Prince Pearl. These stitches aren't actually pearl stitches, but this is the flag of Prince Pearl. And if we see the bumpy, bumpy flag flying, then that means it's time for us to pearl. And we know that, as the story tells us, Night Knit and Prince Pearl, they work together, they take turns. One row of knit, one row of pearl, and that is how they work together to make the beautiful stockinette stitch to save the day. Happy knitting!